Most or many patients with respiratory distress have difficulty with a full face mask. They become uh, claustrophobic and it actually makes the respiratory failure worse. And getting them to suffer through that is very time intensive, very uncomfortable for the patient and, and upsetting sometimes to family members. As a nurse, patient comfort is the second most important thing right after patient safety. Breathing wise, having a patient be comfortable is going to make them feel more relaxed. It's going to make them breathe more efficiently. We initially decided to start using the Vapotherm in our emergency department because we were educated on the fact that not all patients who are having a COPD exacerbation necessarily need non-invasive of ventilation, that we could use the Vapotherm instead to rescue those patients much more comfortable, less invasively. We like to put patients the lowest acuity possible that they need. A, we want to keep our ICU beds open for patients who absolutely need an ICU bed. And then also for the patient, if they're in a lower acuity, they can have their family members there more, they're more comfortable. Treatment we want to just continue regardless of, of where the patient is. For imaging, or a procedure, or for switching rooms. There's an enormous amount of comfort among the staff using Vapotherm. The only missing step had been that transition part. That's very uncomfortable for the patients to have to all of a sudden switch for 15 minutes for a transfer onto non-invasive ventilation and the mask. Also extremely expensive and time intensive. We use the transfer unit on all patients in the emergency room with the assumption that they're either going to need to be transported for testing or they're going to need to be transported to be admitted and keep them on the same uh, therapy. Having Vapotherm portable is seamless and very easy for the patient and the staff. Anytime you can make your patients comfortable and their families more comfortable, that's always a win.